Examples of identifying pick and thin objects. Hello children. In the previous video, we saw identifying thick and thin objects and identifying the thickest and thinnest objects. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. Choto and Pinky want to have a swing on the tree behind their house. Pinky, what all do we need to make a swing on the tree? A piece of wood and a rope. That's it. A piece of wood is right here. Yes, Chotu. Let's get the rope from Mummy. Pinky and Chotu went to get the rope from Mummy. Mummy, we need a rope to make a swing. Okay, Chotu. There are two ropes inside. Go and get them. Okay, Mummy. Choto brings both the ropes from inside. Here are the ropes. Come on, let us take a rope for the swing. This rope is very beautiful. Yes, let's take this one. Children, this rope is thin. If you make a swing with it, the swing will break as soon as you sit on it. Really, Mummy? What should we do now? Children, you should make a swing with this thick rope. It won't break when you sit. Children, do you think this rope is thicker than the previous rope? Pinky, we will make swing with the rope because this rope is thicker than this rope. Well done, children. You were right. Come on, let me help you to hang this swing. After hanging the swing, Choto and Pinky swung a lot and had fun. So children, you saw Choto and Pinky chose the thick rope instead of the thin rope to hang a swing. So children, can you identify thick and thin pencil from these two pencils? Yes, this is thick pencil and this is thin pencil. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying the thickest and the thinnest objects. Till then, bye children.